everybody. Welcome to Real Life, Real Faith. I'm your host, Cheryl Lacey Donovan, and we are live in the studio today with DeAndrea. We have DeAndrea here because she's going to tell us a little bit about what she does for the community, as well as to tell us about some events that she's going to be having in the beginning of June. So DeAndrea, welcome, and thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what is it that you do? So I started an organization called The Purpose Project, The Pink Project, mm -hmm. and um, what we do is we encourage the uplifting and the oh gosh this is gonna be hard the uplifting and the encouragement of women who've been previously incarcerated okay so I myself um, have been previously incarcerated mm -hmm. and I found that after coming out of prison it's hard for a lot of people to get mm -hmm. back on their feet mm -hmm. without doing what they went to prison for right so I was blessed and favored enough to come home to what I left yeah, but mm. I met a lot of women um, and started relationships with women who weren't as fortunate as I was. So um, being an entrepreneur from birth, I mm -hmm. would say, I um, decided to come up with this organization to just basically tap into what women, um, like, what do you like to do? Do you like cleaning? Do you like cooking? Wow. Okay, well, start, let's start, it. let me help you start a cleaning company. Let me help you start a catering business. Wow, wow. To give them an opportunity to step outside of whatever, whatever sent you to prison. Mm -hmm. um, you can still bounce back from that and start your own business and be an entrepreneur and be a successful and, um, contributing person to your community. Well, we need to duplicate you because that, I think, is one of the keys to uh, matriculation back into the community Absolutely. because a lot of times, especially if it was a felony that the person had, it's hard for it's them hard to find to a, a job. job. Right. And I've always said to myself, well, why don't they ever think of starting a business, right. especially, you know, as far as I'm concerned, and I know this is real life, real faith, and you know we don't cut any corners with stuff. As far as I'm concerned, somebody that sells drugs and was really good at you're it, an entrepreneur. They, you're an entrepreneur. Right. You were a good business person to, in order to be able to do that right. and keep, because you had to keep inventory, you had to have books, Absolutely. I mean, not technical books, but you know what I mean, yeah. count your money, make sure. So why not start a business? And that makes so much right. sense. So do you guys go to the prisons prior to them coming into the program and kind of get to know them first? Or do they just find out about you once they leave? They just find out about us once they leave. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, um, in my case, I was in federal prison. And so once you leave federal prison, you go to a halfway house in, mm -hmm. in the city of Houston, right downtown. Um, and once you leave the halfway house, you're kind of on your own. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and you may find yourself working at a Walmart or mm -hmm. a fast food restaurant. There's nothing like what you money you were making it's before, nothing probably. Like money you were making before. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're trying to do is build um, our name in the community mm -hmm. to be able to help these women. Also, another thing we're trying to do is to get a house. Okay. Um, we're trying to, once they leave the halfway house, there's some additional transitional um, assistance for them to come yes. to um, that will ha be housed there if they don't have anywhere to go. Um, there will be um, a computer room where they can work on their resumes and, you know, there will be clothes that were donated from uh, from other women that they can, you know, literally get back on their feet and know that there's somebody who has been where you have that supports you and, um, you know, w wanting to pull you up. Okay. Okay. So right now, what types of services can you offer them when they leave? When they leave? Prison? So right now, we can um, refer them to. Let's just say they don't have anywhere to go. Mm -hmm. um, we refer them as of now to some different shelters or some different mm -hmm. homes that are available to them. We also give, uh, give them resources to where to go or how to get food stamps. How they mm -hmm. just, just okay. because once you get there, they don't. That, that's not what they do right. for you. you right. Know? Um, so just just the basic needs we are there to help them get back into in tune mm -hmm. with what they need to do to live to not want to feel like they have to go back to that particular lifestyle whatever that okay. may have been so are you um are you in a place now where you can like offer them because I heard you say helping them start their businesses and things yes. like that do you have some place that you go and maybe provide them training in entrepreneurship yes. or you know telling them the difference between LLCs and all of that Absolutely. kind of thing and so our office is housed off of South Post Oak 10540 South Post Oak oh, Road me. Yeah, in Houston Texas okay I need that address again because sure. I need to come visit you okay sure. <laughs> and so um, we basically give free consultations to them mm -hmm. just basically see where they are see what they want to do you you may want you may need to go back to school so we're going to help you find the the quickest 
you know, most proficient program to, for you to get into to build those skills or to get a certification or whatever mm -hmm. you need mm -hmm. to move forward until, but we, we definitely are pushing them to be entrepreneurs. Right. It's very right. important. That, and I think that, yeah, I yeah. think it is important because that's it's probably very the, the, the best route to go right. because, you know, you don't want the past to catch up with you. There Absolutely. is your business. You can make your own rules, your Absolutely. own policies, all that kind of thing. And I think that I, it just, Man, that resonates with me. That's so wonderful. Yeah. That's really great. Thank you. Okay, so so they can come to you. They can get a free consultation. They can get re resources. Absolutely. Do you do the resources come to where you are, or do you just refer them out? To we refer them out okay. for resources. We'll even provide transportation to them. Okay, that's good. Um, to to get there, and we're just basically gonna walk hand in hand with you. Be your mm -hmm. sister. You know, be your motivator. Be your pusher. Um, until you tap into what your t your purpose totally is. Okay. And so I believe that's what my purpose that's why I had to go okay um, to be able to help to help other women okay. as I'm talking to you I'm thinking about um, this past week I went with some of my students to dress for success mm -hmm. and that sounds like it's a perfect uh, fit, right. fit for you mm -hmm. because they, they provide the interview clothing for the women um, to go out on interviews and things like that or even just in their case business attire if they're right. gonna be business women they sometimes they may have to go have to and part. meet somebody exactly yeah, exactly so how do you guys get your funding Right now, we don't have any funding. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm, we're doing it all from our our own pockets okay. and contributions of the friends who are, you know, supporting the the the, the concept and the project. And so, but we're we're working on funding. We're working on um, trying to get in 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 um, with the city. Okay. So we can, because the city has a second chance reentry program. They do. They so do. we're trying to get some connections with the city so we can, you know, like I said, be a vital part of the community, helping mm -hmm. the community, helping the city of Houston, okay. you know, get back to what we stand for, diversity, um, chances. The, the program wow. is called Second Chances, I, and I, I believe that God is a God of a million chances. Exactly. So um, just because you made a decision and that mm -hmm. decision put you in a place, that doesn't mean that, you know, life stops. Right. So that's, right. that's the, that's the part of the project that I'm most proud of that okay. we're helping. So, so are you all looking to become maybe a 501c3 so yes. that you can get? Okay, okay. Yes. In the meantime, go fund me, girl. Go fund me. That's get y'all a go fund me. What that's are you true. doing? That's true. Get that's out there and get the go fund me. I'm sure people would love to uh, sow into what you're doing because right. it's it's definitely needed. A lot of these women go into prison and they have children yes. that they, they need to come back to and support and right. things like that. And I know that if the tools and the resources are not there, they Absolutely. have nothing to do but to go back to whatever was that they, they were, were doing, doing before right. and we definitely don't want that to happen we don't want the recidivism we don't want them going back to prison right. because that their children will, will be without them once again right. as a result of that right. so I commend your efforts with what you're doing you. um, get that GoFundMe page up so that we can yeah, let we people will. know about it yes. so that they can begin to donate that way even you know before you get your 501c3 and of, of course once you get that I'm sure that you'll be able to get other funds from right. foundations and government grants and things like that um, even even as a, an agency that's not 501c3 sometimes those types of programs right. you can find funding for that um, I, thank you so much thank for, for coming and letting me. us know about it uh, when we come back we're going to talk a little bit about the two uh, events that you're going to be having here at the beginning of June yes. um, before we leave though make sure that the audience knows the address to yes. where your project is located mm -hmm. and a phone number or an email where they can reach you absolutely so the address is 10540 South Post Oak Road that's in Houston Texas 77035 and the contact number is area code 713-539-6696. We'll make sure to put that up on our Facebook page Thank as well. You. All righty. We'll be back in a moment. Real Life, Real Faith with Cheryl Lacey Donovan. Join us for a night of entertainment on June the 2nd at 7.30 p.m. for The Rebirth with special guest Miss Sherleen, hosted by Bishop Becca. Doors will open at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss this event. Welcome back to Real Life, Real Faith. Once again, I am Cheryl Lacey Donovan, and this is DeAndrea, and she just got done telling us about her Purpose Project, the Pink Project, yes. and all of the wonderful things she does for women who are coming back into their community after having been in prison. And she has two events coming up in June that I want her to tell us about. The first one is happening on June 2nd, and Real Life, Real Faith plans to be there live for that one and the one on June the 4th. Awesome. Um, it's called the Rebirth Weekend. So yes. tell us what the Rebirth Weekend is about. So the 
rebirth weekend is I'll be celebrating my 40th birthday. All right. And I, yeah, and I decided that I wanted to do something different this year. I wanted mm. to um, make people laugh and make people think about life. And instead of partying and traveling with my friends, I wanted to do something different and, and do something kingdom driven. Mm. So um, we're bringing Miss Charlene. Okay. Um, she's a Facebook phenomenon. Um, now you can't be on Facebook and not know who Miss yeah, Shirley is. That's true. Is. You're very seriously true. funny. Um, and her comedy is clean, which I really, really love. Um, and she just talks about things that we all can relate to. And so we're bringing Miss Charlene. It's going to be hosted by Bishop Becker. Um, and then we also have some other people on the ticket. Nisi Lamarck, she's a really good comedian here in Houston. We have um, Marquise Sutton. She's okay. a local singer here in Houston. And then we have some other exciting things that I'm, I'm not able to share. Oh, boo! Get your ticket. We thought we'd get an exclusive here yeah. on Real Life Real Faith. Get you your know? ticket, okay. get your ticket, and come check it okay. out. It's going to be a really fun night, um, night of entertainment. And okay. so that's so how I want So tell us about the birthday. admission and how uh, people can get tickets and where okay. it's going to be located. So it's okay. going to be located at the Word Church, 14503 Vantage Parkway, Houston, Texas. Nope, one four one five four zero one, three <laughs> one five four zero three. Thank you very much. No problem. Um, East Vantage Parkway, mm -hmm. Houston, Texas. Um, the tickets are twenty dollars. General admission. You can um, purchase your ticket at the church, or you can contact me at seven one three five three nine six six nine six. We will deliver tickets in okay. the Houston area. Okay. You can also get your ticket on Eventbrite. Um, I don't know the link by heart. It but. is. I'll, I'll help you out <laughs> with that. You. The Rebirth 2K17 yes. dot eventbrite dot com. That's, That's the Rebirth 2K17 dot eventbrite dot com. Y'all get y'all tickets for this. It's going to be great. This lady right here, Miss Charlene, she Super is funny. funny. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen her on Facebook, you need to get on Facebook and find her, Miss Charlene. That's her name, Miss Charlene. Y'all need to yes. find her. She is funny. And she's going to be at this event on June the 2nd. 7.30 p.m. Not sure if we said that. June the okay. 2nd, 7.30 p.m. Uh, the doors will open at 7. It's $20 general admission at the Word Church. Y'all need to come out for that. Yes. And then on that Sunday, yes. what's happening? Sunday, June the 4th is Monologues and Confessions. Monologues and Confessions was gifted to me when I was away, when I was incarcerated okay. in prison. And um, my story is really, really crazy. Like, the judge gave me a bond, um, and people were like, you got to tell everybody that this happened to you, and I didn't. And mm. um, I was embarrassed, so um, I went back to prison because I was out on bond for a year, and I ended up going back and doing the rest of my time. And when I went back, I told God, I will do what you told me to do. And so that's how Monologues and Confessions was birthed. Wow. And it's basically, you know, looking at me, you would never know what I've you been through. You don't know, yeah, yeah, right? I don't look like what I've been through. Yeah, yes. you don't. So looking at yes. me, you would never know what I've been through. And so this is an opportunity to step outside the four walls of the church and give people your testimony. So we have six amazing ladies that will be sharing their testimony this time. This is the fourth Monologues and Confessions oh, wow, in the okay. last two years. Um, I'm very proud of this project. It has grown over the over the years and this this is going to be amazing. So if you want to hear some real life issues, like real life stories of people who have overcame and um, doing great things in their communities and, and being great women of God and raising their children despite what they've been mm -hmm, through, mm -hmm. this would be a great opportunity for you to come. And, okay. and hear these stories. Okay, well, before we get to when it is and all that, that kind of information, you mind sharing a piece of your testimony? Absolutely not. All right. So um, I went to prison for um, protecting somebody that I loved. Mm -hmm. um, I, oh, been there, done yeah, that. So I, I had the option to have four months probation or testify against this person. And um, funny thing is I was sharing when I was speaking about a couple of weeks ago, I said, you know, I never considered my children. I never considered my mm -hmm. husband. I never considered you know the the facts that surrounded the situation how right. it would affect the people around me right um i only um was concerned about that person and not disappointing them or letting them down and so i went to prison i was i was given 21 months i had stayed there for three months and um i called home one day and my husband said you know you got a you got a bond and i thought well what do you mean you know mm -hmm. and he says the judge gave you a bond well the da forgot to sign my paperwork um, wow. 
after I filed an appeal, the DA didn't sign my paperwork. And so the judge granted me a bond while my case went to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. um, and so the bottom line to it is I believe I found myself in prison. Wow. I believe um, it was all orchestrated by God. I know some people think that that's crazy. Nope, not but, at all. But I do believe that. And it gave me an opportunity to sit down because I was so busy. I'm just a busy person. Jonah had to be in the belly of a whale. Right. You <laughs> so. know, just so, so busy doing this and doing it. Got my hand yeah. in everything and, and doing, being everything for everybody and doing yes. everything for everybody. And I never um, sat down to find me. Mm -hmm. And so I found myself in prison. The Pink Project, the Purpose Incorporated Project was founded in prison. And um, I wrote a book. I hadn't published it yet, but it's written. Um, you need a publisher? I'm just saying. I, I don't know. You need I'm a telling you. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> so I wrote a book in prison and um, and, and and prison was good for me. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people well, don't say that. Unfortunately, fortunately, yeah. because yeah. If, if it allowed you to become who you need to, be, to have become, Absolutely. then it was it was fortunate. Absolutely. Because otherwise you wouldn't be here now doing what you're doing right. and letting people know your testimony. Because, you know, I tell people all the time, in the kingdom, we are so closed-lipped. Yes. We want everybody to think that it's we've always together. been yeah. like this. Yeah. And the thing is, the Bible tells us that we're overcomers by the blood by of the, the blood. Lamb yes. and the word of our testimony. Right. How do you know that God can deliver you if I never tell you the, how he delivered me. Absolutely. How do you know that he's a healer if I can't tell you how he, he healed, healed me? me. So keeping our mouths closed, that doesn't make any sense yeah. at all. So I think it's great what you're doing. I think these monologues are great. I'm sorry that this is the first time I'm hearing about it right. and you've done four. Yeah. I think we need to, you know, it needs to travel all over, not only Houston, but okay. all over you know, because yeah. people need to know that, you know, th that's why a lot of people don't go to church now. Right. Because, because they Chris. feel like church is filled with a lot of self-righteous people. Right. That they never had any issues, that nothing has ever happened to right. and all that. And, and this is the, and this is getting outside of those four walls, Absolutely. Absolutely. which is what we really need, need to, to do. do yeah. So that people that are out there can know that, yes, people go through some stuff. Yes. And yes, God can give you a breakthrough. Absolutely. If we don't ever tell it and never share it. You never know. How people going to know? Absolutely. Okay, that's just the world according to uh, Mr. I'm just saying. Okay, so monologue confessions, a night of truth and revelation. When is this happening? Where is this happening? Tickets, all of that. This is happening Sunday, June the second, June Six, the fourth, June the fourth. Here, I'm baby, sorry. Here, here, Thank here, you. Here. I got a lot going on. All right. Let me give, let me give you your paper. Thank Take your paper. You. <laughs> Sunday, June the fourth, 6 p.m. Doors open at 5:30. It is twenty dollars general admission as well. It's going to be at the Deluxe Theater. That's 3303 Lyons Avenue, seven. 7020. You can still contact me at 713-539-6696 for ticket information. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Two great events. Yes. June 2nd and June, June 4th. 4th. There you go. <laughs> June 2nd and June 4th. You guys need to get out. You need to see this. These monologues, I'm just telling you. Miss Charlene is funny. Y'all need to see her too. But I, these monologues, I think, can really set somebody Absolutely. free. They need to hear these testimonies and know how great our God is so yes. that he can get the glory for what he's done in our lives. Amen. 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 So, uh, listen, I'm sitting here wearing my Faith Walking t-shirt because this weekend is our Women of the Word Month conference that we hold at Jones Praise and Worship Center, 115 West Road, Houston, Texas. And this year, our theme is the Alabaster Box Experience. Awesome. You don't know. You don't know because you don't know. You mm -hmm. don't know what some of these women have been through. We're going to have a panel discussion on tomorrow. We actually start tonight, 7 o'clock, um, at Jones Praise and Worship Center. And we'll have wonderful, great speakers on tonight. But tomorrow is the panel discussion. And these women are going to come and talk to everybody and tell their testimonies about addiction, about uh, molestation, about incest, domestic violence. They're going to talk about it. They're going to tell people how they got over whatever it is that they're dealing with. We're going to talk about forgiveness. Yes. And we're also going to have a dialogue. It's not your, your conference is normal. We're going to have a dialogue. People in the audience will be able to ask questions. I'll be asking some questions so that people can truly get delivered. And after that, we also have um, some guest speakers that will be speaking. But I think the most important thing about what we're doing tomorrow is that we're going to be connecting women that want to be connected with counselors, with coaches, awesome. with organizations that can help them walk through their experience, not just at the conference, but afterwards. Because yes. we go to conferences all the time yeah. you know you've been to conferences right. and you know you get all excited your emotions are all intact and you just you're ready and gung-ho mm -hmm. and Monday morning you deal with the same thing 
Nothing. Yeah. Right. right. Nothing. Nobody's there to push you forward. Nobody's there to be your cheerleader and yeah. say, look, girl, you can do this. So this is what we want to do with this conference this year. We want people to be able to be connected, have somebody they can pick up the phone and talk to, pray with them, you know, counsel, them, whatever they need. We right. want to have some follow up after the conference. So mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. That's awesome. I think that's going to be great for people. Yeah. So join us. Join us tonight, seven o'clock Friday um, at Jones AME Praise and Worship Center. Tomorrow begins at nine o'clock. We want to see your face in the place. One one five. West Road, Houston, Texas, with a faith walking t shirt because that's what we're doing. We faith walking, and the other one I think says, Faith it until you make it. Faith it until you make it. So get your t shirt, come out there and join us. We would love to have you there. We're going to see if we can Facebook it live. You know, sometimes our technology don't just work like we want it to, but right. hopefully you may get to see some bits and pieces with that as well. As always, we want to remind you you can connect with us on Facebook at Real Life Real Faith with Cheryl Lacey Donovan, on Twitter at Real Faith Mag. You can also connect with us on uh, Instagram at Real Life Real Faith and we have a website www.realliferealfaithmedia.com so connect with us there too and as always remember that God can do exceedingly and abundantly more than you could ever ask or think according to the power that worketh in you be blessed